What's going on my friends, it's your friend Jack here and today we're going to be taking a look at how you can stake your Cardano or ADA um, to actually get Sunday swap tokens. It's going to be a very simple process and if you don't know how to stake your Cardano already, I'm going to cover that too so do not worry. This also applies to other wallets and how to stake the Cardano into Sunday swaps. ISO, their initial stake offering. So stay tuned and let's get right into the video. First things first, you're going to come over to Google or go down in the description below and click on the link I left down there, which is basically a link to the Uroi Chrome extension. We're going to be using the Uroi wallet for this. You can also use a Daedalus wallet or whatever other wallet you want to set up, but for simple purposes, we're going to use Uroi. You can also access this wallet on mobile. And what you're going to do is add this extension to Chrome. After you've done that, you want to accept it. You're going to come over to your Chrome extensions in the bottom or the top right. You're going to see it's popped up here. You're going to click it and it's going to open up the Uroi wallet. Now, here we are and we're going to set up our Uroi wallet. You can use a hardware device, but we're going to do click uh, English or whatever language you want. Click agree, continue. Now, you can do advanced or simple. I recommend just going simple for this tutorial. It's not going to be that much uh, harder. Or it's going to be easier really and now do you want to enable cardano agreement urls this allows you to easily share invoices with friends or business by simple, simply clicking your url you know what might as well allow it now you want to click allow up here finish and here's where you decide do you want to restore an old wallet so you have a passphrase that you want to restore uh, do you want to create a new wallet or do you want to create connect to a hardware wallet so now you're going to choose what you want to do but if you just want a simple and straightforward wallet which is basically no hardware required. You're gonna go ahead and click on this one here and pick your per currency. We're gonna do a Cardano wallet for the purposes of this. It could be a paper wallet or we create a wallet. We are going to create a wallet and we're gonna name the wallet whatever you want. Desk Jack is gonna be my wallet name and then set a password and repeat that password and create your wallet. All right, now you're gonna click create personal wallet and you're gonna be basically prompted with the screen here telling you get ready we're going to send you 15 random words this is your private seed okay anyone who has access to these 15 words can essentially recover your wallet on a hardware device or the Uroi website with the option right here restore wallet they can restore wallet with these exact keywords and they're going to be able to get into your wallet and access your funds so never share these with anyone don't I am showing you with right now but this is a test wallet keep that in mind never share these keys if you don't want people to get into your wallet if someone does know your uh, keys and you know they know it i would take those funds out of your wallet immediately but what we're going to do is we're going to just i'm just going to screenshot this because you need to you should write this down so write down on a piece of paper somewhere safe don't store this on your computer you don't want these keys to have access to the internet essentially write it down somewhere safe and then after you've written it down you're going to click yes i've written it down then it is going to ask you to basically put in your recovery phrase it's going to have the words here you're going to have to just click them in order i've just done it after you've done that that might take a minute you can pause the video if you're still on that um, but you're going to put i understand and i understand and then confirm now your wallet is created okay so this is a wallet that is created now we're going to be using this wallet to send our funds to and then on this wallet you can actually Go over here and you know delegate or stake your ADA to specific stake pools. So first things first, I'm gonna fund this account. I'm gonna show you guys how to fund the account real quick. All you have to do is go to whatever um, exchange you're using, and then go to your wallet, and you're gonna send uh, basically ADA or Cardano to this address that they give you here. All right, now what you're gonna do is copy this address or have it on standby. Go over to wherever your exchange is. Uh, I'm not sure which exchange you guys are using. Wherever your ADA is stored right now, what you're going to do is click the withdrawal button um, on your ADA or whatever button it is. It might be send it to wallet. It might be something similar. You're going to find that button, the withdrawal button, and then it's going to give you uh, an option to put a wallet address. You're going to paste that in. And once you have that wallet address pasted in, you're going to put how much ADA you want. Uh, uh, we're going to do the max amount we have in our wallet. And then we're going to go over to the remark, which we're not going to do anything. Now, it does cost you an ADA to transfer out on this exchange. Your exchange might have a minimum amount of ADA you need to actually withdraw. Keep that in mind. But this is what you're going to do to send it to the address. 
if you do have well, uh, ADA already sitting in your, your Roy wallet, your Daedalus wallet, you may need to just send it from wherever else you have your data, uh, basically wherever else you have your ADA so you can stake it on a specific pool. Maybe you have it in something like Voyager and you might have to send it to a wallet that you can actually vote and stake with uh, and pick your staking pool. But that being said, we're going to go ahead and send this ADA over and then I'll catch up with you guys when it is officially in my wallet. All right, so we actually just received the ADA minutes later pretty pretty quick especially compared to other cryptos so i'm actually very impressed with that it always impresses me but we have a 34 ada here and what you're going to do now is you're going to go over to the right hand side click on the delegation list and right now sunday swap is not available okay you cannot delegate to sunday swap stake pool because they have not opened their stake pool officially yet i believe their stake pool is coming live on march or may 24th they just announced that this morning so in preparation for that you probably should not stake your cardano you can for now stake in a different pool and to delegate i'm going to show you guys how to do it we're just going to click on one of these very simple one of these lower fee ones and to delegate basically it does cost you so right here it's going to cost you it's not going to tell me how much it's going to cost me it's going to cost me two point something ada to delegate but after you take your delegation off 2.17 right here it's only going to charge you the 2 ADA or the 0.17 ADA and it's going to return 2 out of the 2.17 ADA after you take out your delegation or your stake uh, from that pool. Keep in mind it does take around 15 to 21 days to actually start getting rewards from a staking pool and right now since it's not even 15 or 21, 21 days out from Sunday Swap, if you are not already delegated to a pool it's probably just better to wait you're not going to get rewards and you're going to take a 0.17 ADA hit uh, just for no reason really because you're going to change delegation pools or stake pools. So I would not pick a pool if you're planning on going to Sunday Swap and you're just getting into staking. I would wait until the Sunday Swap one comes out because you're not going to get any rewards from the pool you stake in for the first 15 and 21 days anyways and you're going to pay that 0.17 fee after you pay the initial fee and then take out your stake when you switch over to Sunday Swap. So I hope that's straightforward, but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stake this and I'm going to click delegate. So I'm just going to put in my spending password, which I don't even remember. <laughs> I made up a random password. I think this is it. I'm going to press delegate and it's successfully delegated. That's simple, right? Go to the dashboard and you're going to see right here that it's going to be under our total delegated once we refresh, uh, hopefully. And after you've delegated, once again, it takes 15 to 21 days, but when you want to find the Sunday swap one, all you have to do is search for it, right? S-U-N, Sun, and you're going to scroll down here after you click search, and you're going to see it's not here yet, but it is coming, okay? Sunday swap is coming, I believe, May 24th. I'll leave a link down in the description to their blog post they actually posted this morning regarding their official ISO, their official in initial stake offering. And if you guys like this video or find it helpful whatsoever, please consider smashing the like button. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. That has been how to stake your ADA and how to delegate it to a specific pool with the Roy wallet. This also applies to the Daedalus wallet. You can go ahead and search or just go to adapools.org. You can search to see if it's live yet, and once you see Sunday in there, you're going to be able to click it, stake to it, and you will be getting Sunday tokens in as a reward. They'll be airdropped to, I believe, your ADA address. So it's kind of confusing, but keep that in mind. You're not going to be getting paid in ADA when you're staking to a Sunday pool. It, usually you get paid in ADA, but in this case, you're getting paid in Sunday tokens or airdrops. So it's a little bit different, but yeah. Don't go ahead and fund or stake to a different delegation or a different stake pool right now just because you're not going to be able to get the rewards within the first 15 to 21 days anyways. So you might as well just wait and not take the fee uh, to go over to Sunday Swap Pool if that's what you're planning to do.